performing oh, full evening shows with just borrowed objects, cards, Let me show cups, your book. balls. This is his book. Learned Pigs and Fireproof Women. Yeah, it comes out in paperback in a couple of weeks. I want to know about the title. That's all I'm interested in. <laughs> How about the title? <laughs> well, there really are in this book uh, pigs that wrote their own autobiography, did card tricks as well as anything that I can do here, women who went into blazing ovens, uh, and then emerged in a wonderful way. Actually, there's a, there's a fellow named Chabert who entered a blazing oven in 1818 with two raw steaks in his hand. He emerged tartare. The steaks were cooked to perfection. Uh, but these are just some of the many characters. And, and the one magician that I write about in the book, Max Molini, was capable of remarkable stuff. Why don't you give these a, a quick shuffle and I'll, and I'll show you one of the... Uh, good. One of the effects that he's used for many years. I know it don't matter. <laughs> Right. It doesn't. I'll tell you what, hold up your left thumb, don't worry, I won't be insulted. And with your left thumb, push back the corner of any card like you're opening the leaf of a book. I'm going to look in the other direction, but what I want you to do is that, any place at all. Remember, you can just see the card, I won't. I'm going to look at Tim, this will prove conclusively that I'm not a thumb fetishist. You take a look, I won't. No, I wanted you to, to open that for a second until mm -hmm. you could see one card. Okay, I could see it. That was enough time for you to remember the card? Oh, yes. Would you do me a big favor? Mm -hmm. Forget it. Okay. Suddenly the man moves like lightning. No, I need a little time to do this. All right, okay. so forget that. Let me have you do it one more time. Okay. This is live television. Okay. It's difficult. Take another look. I'm approaching the <laughs> car. I need all the help I can get. Okay? Uh-huh. You saw a card. Yes, I did. All right. Can you remember it? Yes. Do you know how to shuffle cards? Yes. That's the wrong answer. Let me try it. Do you? No, you can give the cards a shuffle. Give them a quick shuffle, remembering it's dead time. Okay. That's enough. Good. Now, many of you will think I'm looking through the cards. I'll tell you what. Instead of just finding your card, I'm going to have one card jump out of the deck and land in the air as if propelled. Watch. Into the microphone should look like that. And this, I believe, was the card which you looked at, the Eight of Hearts? No, it wasn't. You didn't see the Eight of Hearts, mm. ever? Well, kind of. What do you mean? That first card I looked at was the Eight of Hearts. The card that I asked you to forget? Yeah, so A I... fine job he's done. What was the <laughs> second card, the one I asked you to remember? Not the Eight of Hearts, the second card. The five of hearts. Watch, in midair, because that now is the five <laughs> of hearts. <laughs> Roy, that was very good. We'll take a commercial. We'll be right back. Five of hearts. Well, they used to play the game at the turn of the century, another queen of hearts, and then the third queen of hearts. Then they decided it was easier to play the game with black cards, so they took a black card like the eight of spades, and another eight of spades, and a third eight of spades. Then they figured the game was easier to play with one black card like that, and then a red queen and another red queen. Sometimes they play with two black cards and one red one. I'll play it that way, since that's what we have. Remember, it's easy to follow. All you have to do is keep your eye on the red queen, then you win. Little game from Hanky Poo, the black for me, the red for you. Remember, I throw the red card, so this could be black, or this could be black, where's the red card? It's pretty simple, that's why you lose. The reason I have many houses, lots of insurance, and real estate, the black card. You have to watch very closely as you're paying attention to the game. Remember, the red card, it could be the black, it could be the black card. The important thing about this is people often forget to pay attention to the black card. They're always looking at the red card. I don't know if you know this game, but it's, it's a good old-fashioned gambling game. All right, so let me show you how this works. Remember, I have two black cards and one red card. The idea is that I throw the cards, and you have to find the red card. Now, it can be tricky because I cross my hands. Where's the red card? Yeah, you got lucky. I mean, this is the red card. But uh, the idea is that it's very difficult to follow the game. If I move the cards, you have to bet on the red card. Is it, let, me, let me ask you a question. Is it this bent corner that you're looking at here? Because if you are, you could get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Mr. Ricky J. Damn, man. Stay away from me. 
Magician from hell, stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs>